Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another tablescape. So today we are actually doing a winter tablescape. I loved, loved, loved my Christmas tablescape this year by Princess. Um, with the Santa plates and the gingerbread house. But Christmas is over, so I've taken it down. I'm not quite ready to put away all of my winter decorations yet. I have a lot of pretty um, mercury glass trees and things, my nativity that are seasonal, but they're not really Christmas. So I decided I'm going to just put the Christmas, the Santa plates away. And we're going to do a winter-esque tablescape, me and Princess, apparently. So I found, not at Goodwill, but at my local thrift store, Mom and I do a lot of thrifting. I found this set of plates that are kind of blue and they're pine cones. They're from Style House Fine China Duchess. And I don't know why, but I just kind of liked them. And they had the, the dinner plates, the salad plates, teacups, and a few extra pieces. I think like maybe the what looks like maybe a sugar dish without the lid and the creamer. Obviously, I don't have the, the coffee pot or anything, so probably not going to use those. But I thought I would do a winter-esque tablescape. I do have um, blue pillows and my blue pie safe in here. So I haven't done a blue tablescape in a couple years. I thought this would be a fun change of pace. But I didn't want to do totally blue because, because I also made these little fun resin ice mountains. They have these holographic flakes inside of them, which I thought was very winter-esque. So we're going to put together a table that's blue and icy and wintry, but not Christmassy, with these two things. I think this can be a fairly simple table because I don't, um, I don't have a lot of fluff that would necessarily go with this color scheme. I also think that when you're working with the holographic materials, I have some holographic glasses and trees that I think I'm going to pull in for winter ice. Um, less is more because the holographic really needs a lot of light to make it shine. So that is the goal. We are going to get started. I kind of was playing around with it last night, so I think I have a pretty good idea of what I'm gonna do. But we're gonna start by clearing this off. I did not need these dishes. I have so many dishes, but for 20 bucks, I figured I can't go wrong with $20 dishes. I don't think that's a thing. All right, so. First things first, I use a fake fur table runner for the Christmas um, display this year and I thought about using that again, but I don't know, it just didn't quite work for me. So I have this other white table runner that's white, it has all these tassels on the end. I thought that would be kind of fun. And then I have this blue table runner that is literally like silky. It's not silk, but like satin. I don't think it would be, I think it would be too much on its own. So mom thought I should just kind of put it on top and juice it up a little, just for a little pop of color. And, uh, I kind of like that idea, so I'm going to try it. That's pretty good. All right, so now let's put the plates up. I don't have like silver, silver chargers, but I have these. I really don't want to drop these champagne colored chargers. And so I thought they might be kind of fun and pull in that kind of holographic-esque look without being holographic. I like the 
the top shoosh, but I don't quite love how that looked. You guys are supposed to tell me these things. Chargers. Perfect. These look really pretty on these. The plates have this kind of um, silver accent, but it really works with the champagne. I love champagne because it's such a neutral metallic. I'm not sure that's a thing, but. It's not quite as rose gold as rose gold, but it's not silver, so it kind of goes with both. Which is good for me, because I have a lot of rose gold and a lot of silver, so. I like that the champagne comes there with both and kind of mixed metal kind of look. All right, so I think I'm gonna put my mountains on two of the snowflakes and teacups on two. I, the, the one thing my set didn't come with was the saucers for the teacups, which isn't a huge deal. I only know a few people who drink tea, um, so two is fine for my table. Might not be proper, but you know, it's fine. Alright, so then for the middle, I have a few holographic trees that have been on my island from my Christmas kind of mercury glass tree village. So I'm gonna grab the holographic ones. And then I have two, maybe one of the little silver ones, cause I think three is usually, a, a odd numbers are better for seven pieces. So let's see. Okay. Here's the holographic ones. I love them. There was a third size, but it was the biggest one, of course, and they all broke. Got these when I was working at Dillard's. And when I mean they all broke, I mean like they came in on the truck broken, all, princess, all the big ones. And so the medium and the small size were all we had at the store. And I could have ordered the larger ones. This was good. Okay, I have these two small trees. I think this one's gonna be too short, so let's try them. I like the color of that one. It's very metallic. Uh, but I like this one better. It's a very similar tier shape, and it's a little taller, so I think it goes with the set better. We'll put this one away. Next up, I have my holographic glasses. I love these. They make me feel like a mermaid. Which is funny because we're doing a winter tablescape, but they gave me mermaid feeling for the summer. Hopefully they'll give me ice queen vibes for the winter, right? Is this is Queen Elsa's table. table. I don't know. I don't have any kids one of kids let me know that's my goddaughter she loves Elsa okay so far so good last step is silverware I have silver silverware this is my Oneida I can't remember if it's Countess or Duchess, but something regal. Goes with the ice cream theme. Just made that up. And then my knife rests. I love these. I use them every chance I possibly get. I'm thinking the blue. Pull out a little more of that blue color. It's perfect. I 
glasses far enough in. I found these knife rests at an antique store. Got a set of 18 of them in blues, pinks, and greens. I love them. I use the green ones for Christmas because they worked with my pink and seafoam colors. And then I made a mold of them so I can make resin versions. So now I have rose gold and all kinds of other colors, but they're just a fun extra detail to make everything feel fancy. I don't know about y'all, but I love antiques. So the fact that these are actual knife rests from Hungary, not from a factory, makes me happy. table is going to be cluttered since I don't have my table uh, centerpiece up on a cake stand or anything this time. Um, so that was quick and easy. I thought this was going to be the problem table scape of the year because I wasn't sure why I had to go with these plates, but there you go. Quick and easy. I bought the plates for $20 at the thrift store. Had everything else, so this was a fun, quick and easy table scape for winter. I will go ahead and bring you guys closer and give you the close up. I hope you liked this. I'm forgetting one more thing. I'm like closing it out. I have napkins. White napkins. I really wanted to show off these ice mountains. Um, so I wanted simple napkins. I'm not 100% sure how to fold them. Oh, that's it. That's good. Yeah. I mean, it could be just, just a second. Hold that thought. Okay, so I have a few silver napkin rings. particular napkins have the detail at the bottom corner so I was just going to fold them and put them under the ice mountains but I, that doesn't look quite right and I don't want to leave them all the way open they block the whole plate so I think I'm going to put them through the napkin rings and then put them next to the ice mountains because unfortunately the ice mountains need they need just a little bit something with them to make them feel finished. Alright, let's try that. Yeah, that's better. Okay, napkins for all four. These particular napkins are, since they're square and not rectangular, hi princess. She really is my little attention girl. She needs all the love, all the time. Um, you kind of have to fold them to really fill out the napkin rings. Otherwise they just kind of don't. And like a larger napkin that you can just kind of stuff in here. That's okay. I'm just folding it accordion style. I'm putting the ring over the top. I 
gives it that nice ruffled look when it's in there instead of falling flat. I know there's big debates on whether napkins go on the plate or on the table next to the plate. And honestly, you know, like with the teacups, at the end of the day, you do you. Anybody coming to your dinner doesn't like your napkin placement, they can go home and make their own dinner. How I feel about that. Now let's look at everything. All right, so I love it. It's just enough silver, just enough holographic. Here you go. You can see the the cups and the napkins aren't a hundred percent my favorite thing, but I like them. I like them. So does Princess. I really like this, okay. Got the mountains and the napkins and the trees. Cups. That's it. Alright. So I hope Princess <laughs> hope you liked this project. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and I will be back in the next Tablescape, which will be a Valentine's Day theme, because you know your girl does pink. I'm pretty sure I bleed pink instead of red. If you want to see how I made these, I have an entire video tutorial on making your very own ice mountains. Won't be as quick as Elsa, but they are pretty. So I will see y'all next time. Bye.